So, Colin, what you got there? I don't know. I was hoping you could tell me about it. Ah, that? well, that appears to be a clip gauge. Hmm. A clip gauge is used when you uh, encounter a situation where a bonded foil strain gauge cannot make the elongation capability, somewhere above 20% strain. Hmm. You could, this is basically either an omega shape or a hat section like this. You can put a gauge on the top and a gauge on the bottom in a half bridge configuration. And as you separate the two legs, the top will go into tension, the, or excuse me, the top will go into compression, the bottom, bottom will go into tension. And if you make it into a full bridge, you can calibrate it based on displacement or micro strain. If, however, you want to use a bonded gauge, then you would use an EP series of strain gauge. P stands for post yield. That particular gauge, when properly installed with the right adhesive system, can get upwards of 10 to 20 percent strain, 100,000 to 200,000 micro strain. You must use the Armstrong A12 adhesive to achieve those kinds of elongations, and a rougher surface preparation is required to get the kind of elongations that we're talking about. So, if the bonded foil strain gauge doesn't work out for you, then you can build your own clip gauge. And there are available from some other manufacturers clip gauges that are called extensometers, and they are calibrated in terms of micro strain for gross measurements, high elongations. So if you're looking at a high elongation measurement, this clip gauge is probably the thing you're going to want to use.